Hello, this is Pastor John, and the title of my sermon is Racing Into the Future. I just wanted to jump on here at the end of this year and uh, let you know how excited we are, uh, Paul and I, in the Sackcloth Times Ministry, to be living in these last days, um, seeing so many prophecies being fulfilled, seeing this holy book of books um, come alive in these last days. Uh, there's so much evil out there, you know, we're really being persecuted in these last days. We're being tongue-tied in what we could say. We look to the government for answers. You're not going to find it there. You're going to find it only in this book, this book of books. And the man who created this book, God Almighty, and his son Jesus Christ who came to this earth. Um, we got the government persecuting us. We have uh, food shortages. We have uh, famine. We have uh, excessive weather and the things going on. All these things are, are prophesied in the Bible. We are in the last of the last days. I had posted a post today about this, um, how we're in those last days, and I truly believe it. And I just want to thank all of you who stood with us this year, um, financially, uh, with prayers, and um, really energized us, knowing that we have brothers and sisters out there who believe in our ministry, who want to stand with us, who want to fight the good fight in these last days. Brothers and sisters who know that the days of storing up your treasures on earth, the days of building bigger barns in your um, homes is not going to cut it anymore. We are in the last of the last days. We have to lay it all on the line for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, I've been going through a lot of health issues and stuff. And I've been told to cut down, you know, don't be on here. Uh, eye doctors telling me, you know, three hours a day and get 12 hours of sleep. <laughs> Who are they fooling? I can't do it. I can't do it. I burn too much inside of my heart, inside of my soul to share the gospel of Jesus Christ in these last days, to take the name of Jesus Christ and share him with a lost and dying world. Yes, we are a lost and dying world. Far too long we have made a mockery of Jesus Christ and a mockery of the gospel that he bled and died for on that cross. We have went about our lives living for this world and the things of this world. Uh, like I said before, we have built up our barns and bigger barns and bigger barns and we're planning for 20 years down the line, and, you know, what's going to be going on. And... The whole truth is why we're doing this, why we're putting everything away, why we're storing all this up. People are going to hell. People are dying. People are not being told the gospel of Jesus Christ. They are walking from earth to hell itself. And that hell, like I was talking with a sister this morning, briefly and back and forth in messages, hell is a fiery pit and it is an eternal pit. You know, all you people out there who make a joke of religion, you know, um, you take 666 as your uh, code name and everything else. Hell is not going to be a party time. No, it's going to be a, a burning embers for eternity. It's wailing and gnashing of the teeth. Read it in the Bible. Read it. It's wailing and gnashing of the teeth. Oh, my friends. Oh, my uh, loved ones. We have to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. We have to stand behind those who are warriors, who are out there, soldiers of the cross, who are fighting daily, fighting the good fight, um, going through adversity, going through sickness, going through suffering, going through loss, and continuing to preach that gospel. Let's stand together in these last days as we enter into the year 2023 in a few um, days I truly believe that this Bible is being fulfilled each day, that um, the return of Jesus Christ could be any moment. I mean, um, every day I wake up and I say to myself, is this going to be the day? Is this going to be the day that Jesus Christ is coming back? Glory, hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Praise God the Father. I cannot wait for that day. But I also have so much sorrow within my heart, knowing that friends, family, loved ones are going to hell. They rejected him. They made a mockery. They made a joke of him. Um, we have to be the best witnesses we can in these last days. We have to put off the world, the things of this world. We have to put on that full armor of Christ. We have to expect 
that the slings and the arrows are going to come, but we must fight the good fight of faith. We must stand together. We must stand bold. We must stand strong. We must stand true to the gospel of Jesus Christ and to he who died on that hill on Calvary over 2,000 years ago to set us free, to set us free and give us eternal life in heaven. This is what I live for. This is what I preach. This is my passion. This is Paula's passion. This is why we're on here basically from 6 a.m. to 1 a.m. in the morning trying to answer questions of people, uh, trying to minister to you, trying to give you hope, trying to give you peace, trying to give you joy. And you can only find it through Jesus Christ. So will you stand with us in these last days? Will you um, help us to fight the good fight? Uh, we just ask you in Jesus' name to stand with us and um, realize that we are in the last of the last days. Be the best witness you can. Be the best Christian you can. Because any day, Jesus Christ is going to crack that sky open. He's coming back. This is Pastor John checking out, saying peace, love, and joy. I leave with you. I leave with your friends, your family. Even so, come quickly, Lord Jesus Christ.